culture. The Arabs did not believe in an afterlife. Really interesting, because most cultures have a concept of the afterlife. The Arabs did not believe in an afterlife. They said, uh, We live and we die and nothing kills us but time. The Arabs said, and, and will we be decayed bones, dust in the earth, and brought back to life? They say, who's going to revive these dead and decayed bones? The Quran says, Qul, marra. The one who brought them to life the first time, he'll do it the second time. The Quran says, we created you the first time. The commentators say, second time around is always easier. Right? If, if it was done once, it can be done again. Now, how did the Qur'an uh, deal with this belief? Because it's very interesting that the, uh, the Arabs didn't believe this. How did it deal with it? The way that it dealt with it was it told the Arabs to look at the dead earth. And it said, we take a dead earth, send down rain from the heavens, it mixes with the seed and we bring forth, we bring the earth back to life again. And like that, you will be brought back. Now, this analogy, there is a hadith that says that the Prophet Muhammad said, every human being has what's called ajbu dhanab, the wondrous tail. And it's, it's at the tip of the coccyx. And it's the seed of the human being. So the, the, the Muslims believe that there is a seed that every human being has. And like seeds, seeds are very interesting because they're very hard to destroy. Right? You swallow seeds, they come out the other end. Hydrochloric acid doesn't break them down. In fires, seeds stay. Right? Forests that are burnt down come back to life because of seeds that are there that aren't destroyed. Drought comes, kills everything but the seeds. When the rain comes back, it comes back to life. Now, the belief of the Muslims is that every human being has a seed, and that seed will not be destroyed. We don't know where it is or what it is. The hadith indicates that it's in the coccyx. But we don't know what size it is, what it looks like, nothing like that. But from that seed, every human being will be recreated from a divine rain. And it's interesting that we deny resurrection and yet our own culture is talking about recreating human beings from one cell. Bringing back the entire human being by cloning one cell because all of the information about you is contained in one of your cells. And this, one of the verses in the Quran is it says, we will continue to show them our signs in their selves and on the horizon until it becomes clear to them that what we're saying is true. So the belief in the resurrection is absolutely fundamental to the Islamic tradition. And there is a belief that every soul will be completely renewed. The body, but the body that's recreated is not the same as this physical body. This was what we call the world of spirits. And from that we move into, now one of the things about the world of spirits according to the Prophet Muhammad if you met people in the spiritual realm, because we actually intermingle, if you met people in the spiritual realm, you will have a natural affinity for them in this realm. So there will be people that you meet in your life that you immediately connect with. 